Let me just go ahead and show you how we create an item bill of materials and a routing and step you through some of those parts with their version control. I wanted to get to the replenishment and go here to the production. So if I was to say this is a production item, I can define a routing and a production bomb. So I'm going to say, okay, let's go ahead and define a production bomb. And right from here, I can create a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a new production bomb and I'm presented with the production matrix here. I can give it a number or let the system assign a number. One, two, three. Okay. Give it a description. Prod bomb one. And units of measure. You can define the unit of measure at the production level. So I'll just choose pieces here. And I can have a status for each of these. And there's four statuses for our production items. New, which means something new that we're working on and we're going through the whole engineering process. Certified, which means it's ready to roll and, you know, we can start selling it. Under development means we're still working on it or we had to pull it back and work on it. Closed means we're not doing this thing anymore. There's some logic behind them, but kind of just so you know what they are. So I can come into new and I can come in here and I can start adding my lines. Now notice under type, when I hit the down arrow, I could choose to add an item in here or I can nest bombs in. And I can have as many nested bombs as I need. I can go as many layered deeps as I can. I cautious you not to go more than five or six layers deep. It gets super confusing. So I'm going to choose item and I'm going to go ahead and pick an item for my item master. So let's put some ginger in there. Quantity per, and we can define what the scrap levels are and so on and so forth. I can link this back to a particular routing or a particular part of a routing, and that's what this routing link code is. I can come in here, and now I'm going to do a nested bomb for you. Notice because I chose bomb here, my drop down is going to show me bill of materials instead of the item master. So I'm going to just choose another bill of material, put that in here, and define that. With that, I can come in here and choose versions. When I choose versions, you'll notice I don't have any versions set up right now. I can create another version for this. So here now, this is the one, two, three, bomb one, and this is the next version for this item. I can define what my version code is and give it a description, a unit of measure. So I can have multiple versions of a bill of material and have that on my item. I can not only version my bill of materials, so here you'll see version code two, so I can have different version codes. I can start an effective date. So I can have an effective date on my bill of materials, and my MRP will respect that. So if I have four versions and I'm creating a future version, I can have a starting date of July 4th, for example. And when I run MRP on July 1st, I'll get one bill of material breakdown, and then when I run it on the fifth, I will get the new bill of material breakdown based on the effective start date. 